A couple days ago, I broke this here propeller. It's supposed to have one of these things here. Yeah. So, yesterday I was working on making a replacement. And I do have a piece of metal that can match one of these fins that could go here. However, I'd already been thinking about replacing my stainless steel propeller with a fiberglass one because the stainless steel rusts a little bit. Not a lot, but just like some surface rust. Uh, and the surface rust, you know, makes the surfaces all rough and it doesn't work as well. So I have to take the propeller off and polish it if I want to go fast, which is a pain in the butt. So I pulled out my fiberglass stuff and I only have a little bit of old resin left right now. And it's too thick to use. Uh, I mean, I could use it for something else, but not. it won't soak into the fiberglass. So I do have a propeller my backup propeller on the shark slicer, which is, so this guy, I stole it off the shark slicer. And I wouldn't do that except the motor this was attached to leaks oil or the, the gear case, whatever. So I never use it because you know, when I use it, it leaks a little bit of oil and I don't want to do that. So I'm just giving up on that and I'm taking this, I'm going to put it on the zombie chopper. Now it's aluminum, aluminum, which means I may have to take it off between uses, but yeah, it's not the worst thing in the world. Well, I guess I could just do that with the stainless steel one too. But I did want a little bit bigger fins. Yeah, this is about the exact size I was looking to make anyway. All right, I'm gonna get this to fit. Uh, this back here is the same diameter as the propeller shaft. I just hand filed this to get it to fit because it was pretty close. Now this other end, and I think I'm going to make a plastic insert on the lathe. Good thing I keep my hole saw leavings. I just went to start the electricity and my inverter does not turn on. <sighs> worked yesterday. It is several years old. Uh, hopefully there's something in here I can fix. Chances are it's done though. I hate these things. Stole the inverter off my boat. like everything's going wrong right now. All right, I gotta turn this around. All right. Okay, that's in there nice and snug. All right, I'll leave that guy there to fill up the batteries. So I need to go to town again. There is a downside to that propeller I put on there. It's going to have a lot more drag when it's not going than the old one. And now I'm thinking about that stinking inverter. Oh, inverters. <sighs> Electronic stuff is such amazing technology, but we're, we're doing it all wrong. We're making it not robust. Everything is made to last a little while and then it breaks. So frustrating. Because we totally have the technology available to make things last. So yeah, I, just, I know I've been saying this for a while, but I need to start making my own inverters and just, just make them super strong. You know, overbuilt as they say, which is should just be normal. Everything should just normally be what we now call overbuilt. 
Well, I haven't tested the propeller. I hope it works, because tomorrow I'm going to town again. So that's like a 35 to 40 mile trip. It should be fine. Anyway, I'm going to go to town, pick up some resin, have some fiberglass, and then I can make a, a fiberglass propeller. Because, you know, the aluminum aluminum one is already corroding a little. Okay, time to get out of here. Ah, made it back in the right number of pieces. So the aluminum aluminum propeller is not as fast as the stainless steel one I made before. Uh, I think it just needs a higher pitch. You know, basically like uh, putting it into higher gear because it's too, it's too low gear. Um, so I'm not going to mold that to make a fiberglass propeller. Yeah, I'm going to make fiberglass propellers for both the pedal one and the motor one because then I don't have to worry about rust. And the stainless steel doesn't rust a lot, but it rusts enough to, to make it rough. And the, you know, the, the same with the aluminum. So I'm going to make fiberglass propellers. And I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to get kind of fancy with them and like make them actually mathematically correct. I'm not going to do that right now. Right now I'm just going to go chill out and eat some pizza. Oh, pizza.